Hey everyone, this is Derek with Bay Area Shaves and today is my first video. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. And today I'm going to show you a, a fantastic tip uh, to rapidly accelerate the break-in period or process for boy hair shaving brushes. So I've got two brushes in front of me right now. Both of these have been broken in. Both produce absolutely fantastic, luxurious shaves, uh, but there are many differences between these two brushes, right? So let's get that out of the way first. This was my first boar hair shaving brush. Um, this is an Omega brush. In fact, I, I forgot the, the exact model, but I'll include it in the comments. Um, this brush, well, the differences between these two, of course, this has a different grade of hair used in this brush. Um, definitely a much larger, higher loft. Um, but this one here, okay, took me about a month and a half to fully break in. Now the break-in process, uh, some of you know, uh, really involves, uh, well, it involves regular use of the brush to get the hairs to split a bit uh, such that the boar hair or the boar hair seen here becomes very soft, right? Uh, and prevents uh, it from kind of hogging your lather, right? Um, this takes time. It takes time, uh, it well, really uh, involves kind of agitating the boar hair to the point where it can split. Uh, so this one took, again, about a month and a half of regular use. Um, when I wasn't using this brush to shave, I was just agitating the hair any way I could. So that involved rubbing it against my arm, palm of my hand, my jeans, shirt, couch, uh, really anything that was within arm's reach. Um, and again, this, this took a lot of work. Um, and it was well worth it. I mean, this produces an absolutely fantastic shaving experience. Uh, creates really luxurious, you know, cloudy, fluffy, protective lather. Um, but again, still take about a month and a half, right? So it just took a lot of work. So let me put this one aside <clears throat> and switch over to this brush. This is an interesting brush. This is a limited edition brush. And I had purchased this brush from the Shaving Bazaar uh, subreddit. And uh, originally, it was offered as a custom uh, group buy from the Wet Shaving subreddit group. This is a Samoog brush. And the, the Wet Shaving enthusiasts in that forum, or, or subreddit rather, they really wanted to create the perfect uh, face lathering brush. Because I'm a face latherer, so um, this is what kind of caught my, my attention. Um, this brush is unique in that... Um, it uses the same premium 90% boar hair typically seen in the 1305 or the 830, but with a, a slightly lower loft. Um, so, so from what I've heard, it, this is supposed to be as close to the Serta knot that was previously offered uh, by Samoog. Um, anyone that knows anything about Samoog brushes, um, or at least when I, from what I've heard, is that they typically take longer to break in than some of the Omega brushes. I, I really can't speak to the accuracy of that. This is my first Samoa brush. Uh, I only have one other boar brush, which is my Omega brush that I purchased on Amazon for about 10 bucks, right? But um, as you can see, this one has been broken in very, very nicely. This is extremely soft, okay? This is like kitten fur right here, okay? And you know, aside from all the, the visual differences uh, between this one and the Omega brush, the length of time that it took me to break this one in, get ready for this, was three days. Let that sink in for a second. This one took three days to get to this point. I don't know how well you can see this, but um, these hairs, there's a ton of hair splitting that, that's happened here. I mean, this is, let me see if I can even get closer. Look at that. And this is baby soft. I mean, this feels like some of the high-end badger brushes that I have. It just feels absolutely beautiful. But, you know, it's got that, that scrubbiness that's perfect for face lathering. Um, fantastic backbone. I mean, this thing performs like a champ. I mean, if you're a face latherer, this right here is like, this is the real deal, people. All right? This thing is just beautiful. And it's, it's really well made. Um, I, I love the fact that it's a, love the fact that it's a limited edition brush. Um, this is something I want to keep around for a while. Performs like a true champ. And I'll post a video of that. Um, maybe it's my second video. I'm not sure yet. Remember, this is only my first video. I'm just getting started. So, um, so how did I do this? Right? This is remarkable. So, uh, I can't take all the credit, right? I'm just 
you know, relaying what I've learned to the rest of the community. But um, when I was investigating the brush, um, again, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't included in, in the original group buy. Uh, I found out about it a little bit later on um, when someone was selling it on the Shave Bazaar. Um, but while I was reading about it, um, someone had mentioned that you know, some more brushes uh, notoriously take longer to break in than maybe Omega brushes. Or at least that's what they said. Uh, and someone had recommended um, that we should let the bore brush soak in cold water in the refrigerator um, for about two evenings, so two full days. Um, and I thought to myself, okay, well, you know, let's let's give that a shot, right? Because I know that to use a, a bore brush as part of your you know, shaving process, you typically soak it for a couple of minutes. Um, before shaving, so I thought to myself, okay, yeah, I can live with that. I was actually going on a business trip, so I, I actually I, I did that overnight for two days, uh, for two evenings. Um, and when it was done, I noticed that the, the hairs started to split much easier. Um, and I don't know if it's because the hairs ended up just become ended up becoming super saturated with water. Um, they made that a bit easier, or you know, broke down you know, the fibers or whatever. I'm not sure, but uh, I was really impressed with, you know, what I was able to accomplish with this brush and just again letting it soak for about two evenings. Um, but I decided, you know what? If it can be, if it can feel this good, okay, after two days, what would be the harm in putting it for a third day? So that's really where the magic happens, people. Okay, so I put it in for, I put it in a cold water bath in my refrigerator overnight uh, for that third day. And the next day I just started kind of um, vigorously rubbing it back and forth while rotating it against like a dry towel, my jeans or my sofa. And that's what resulted in this. So let that sink in again. This took three days to get to this point, whereas this brush took about a month and a half. So I, I, this, this, this tip that I had received is nothing short of remarkable, and I absolutely recommend doing this. So again, to discuss a little bit about what I had done, I just took a, a simple cup. This one's plastic. I mean, you can use anything you want. Uh, I put it inside, just like that, okay? Filled it with water up until about this point right here, okay? And I just let it sit for, so I, I put it in for about two days, um, took it out. I vigorously kind of, for maybe about uh, 15 minutes or so, just dried the brush um, by rubbing it against a, uh, just a dry bath towel. Um, and then I put it back in the same way for a third day. And then again, vigorously kind of agitated the hairs against a dry towel, uh, my jeans, my shirt, or a couch. Uh, and that's what resulted in this. So uh, that's really it. Um, I, I recommend this. Uh, I don't see any damage to the, to the hair or anything. Um, but from brand new brush to this took about Took about four days, right? Because there's the two days uh, in the refrigerator in the cold bath of water, um, slight agitation, putting in for the third day, or third evening rather, um, a little bit more agitation until I dry the, the brush is fully dried. And, and that's how you are able to rapidly break in a bore shaving brush uh, in a matter of days instead of weeks. And uh, again, I don't know how well you can see this here, but if you take a look at the, the splitting that's occurred, I mean, it truly is remarkable. I mean, I almost wish I could get even, even closer, but look at some of that. So I'm going to post a full shaving review of this brush. Now, this one's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this one, but um, if the length of time is taken if the length of time it takes to typically break in a burr brush is what's been deterring you from trying one, um, I mean those days are those days are over. Um, if you can just have enough patience to wait again three or four days, you'll get a really fantastic broken in bore brush that just produces a really fantastic luxurious shaving experience. So again, this is uh, Derek with Bay Area Shaves. 
first video. I hope this one was useful. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, best of luck. Um, you know, if I find anything new, um, like if, if I do notice that, hey, maybe this isn't the best way to approach this, uh, I'll definitely you know, update the video. But so far, so good. I mean, good God, this literally feels like <laughs> like kitten fur. It is just stupid, insane. I can't believe it. Um, that tip, um, it was accurate. I, I, I'm literally in shock because that other brush took about a month and a half. This one took three to four days. I... I, I can't recommend this enough. Next video I'll post is me actually using it. Um, let me know what you think and uh, well, have a fun time shaving guys.